There are now more legal pot shops in Colorado than McDonald's and Starbucks combined. When people come into town, <laughs> they say, oh my God, are people just high everywhere? I tell them, man, well, you can go to the gas station, get a box of chicken, fill up your gas tank, and get a sack of weed in one spot. <laughs> we went from zero to 100 miles an hour overnight. So we went from it being illegal to waking up, and now it's a constitutional right. We have never been in an environment where marijuana this potent has been this readily available to so many. I have the Chiba Chew and um, we have our zoot straps. Uh, we are strictly organic and pesticide free, so we really have quality bud and then all of our other products, you know, are going to be mirrored to that quality. Without FDA involvement, nobody's making sure that some guy's toenails aren't in here. Almost half of marijuana in Colorado was found to test positive for pretty dangerous pesticides because people are getting greedy. Let's stop thinking that you can generate $7 billion like that in a year without capitalizing on somebody. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Drug dealing is drug dealing. We've endured 80 years of prohibition to our peril. Uh, it's been a disaster. This is a bit of a new beginnings for all of us. They should have kept it medical. The recreational market has completely hijacked the medical market. We had no idea that the CBD oil would work so powerfully with our dog. People thinking that they know everything about, you know, weed, because I've been smoking for 10 years, I got this. You're like, no one knows anything about weed. <laughs>